work. So many people have so many misconceptions when it comes to working when you're chronically ill and disabled that it could take up three episodes. And it did. Check out Chronic Briefs wherever quality videos are hosted. To put the main one to rest, yes, many of us actually do work. In the olden days, <laughs> the disabled and chronically ill ancients of 2019 didn't have many options for work at home, okay? Your choices were telemarketing, uh, being a customer service rep, or phone tech support, which were all, let's face it, basically the same exact thing. Dealing with customers on the phone who probably didn't want to be there in the first place. Yeah, we got all the prestigious jobs. Yeah, I know, we were so cool. Of course, most places want you to work either 30 to 40 hours a week or cover shifts at ridiculous hours like 6 a.m. to 2 a.m. Of course... When it was presented to me, I made the common sense argument that if I could work 30 hours a week until 2 a.m., then I wouldn't need to work at home. Needless to say, they didn't appreciate the humor. But I did get a perfect score on my customer service rep test. Yeah, I'm a pretty big deal in the customer service industry. Yeah, we got thrown a bone, basically. The crap shifts and the jobs that nobody else wanted. And then suddenly, everything changed. Yeah, virtually overnight, working from home became not only common, but necessary. The worldwide COVID pandemic had shifted priorities in record time. So, obviously, they turned to the people who knew working from home best because we had done it for so long. And, uh, oh, how I wish that were true, because in reality, it was a total shit show. Companies had no idea how to transition to a workforce that was remote-based. You had lawyers showing up as cats, businessmen with no pants on, and more technical issues than a senior citizen's Facebook convention. Yeah, meanwhile, as they were ignoring those of us who were screaming at the top of our lungs, you'd think it would be a boon for anyone chronically ill and disabled now that work from home was the norm. But again, we got screwed. Now, the complete opposite has become true because there were so many people competing for remote jobs, disabled and chronically ill people got put exactly where we always end up, at the bottom of the list. And here's the tragic part. Those of us who actually did benefit from work shifting to home are now being told, well, we're not sure if you can keep doing it. You need to get special permission. Really? I need to get special permission to keep doing the thing that I had already been trying to do before everyone else started doing it, and now I need to get super secret special permission to continue doing the thing that I was begging to do for years before everyone else decided they wanted to do that thing. Yeah, it's ironic. The one time we don't want to get treated like everyone else is exactly when they are lumping us in with everyone else they want back at the office. What a surprise. As always, be kind, rewind, and keep on keeping on.